season of challenges for both Matatu and the Hurricanes Power, but the beauty of sport is there's always another week. While the defending champions Matatu can't make the final, the carrot of getting their first win and in front of home fans remains as they take on a Hurricanes sign who need a mathematical miracle to make the top two. Welcome to Autotahi Christchurch on this Easter weekend. It's the first time Matatu have hosted a game here at Apollo Project Stadium, week five, the penultimate round of Super Rugby Opiki. And there's Alana Bremner, the captain of the front, her 100th first class match. What a servant she is for Canterbury Matatu in Black Ferns Rugby. Ponsamy finds Bayfield. Chance for Matatu, still no score in this one. Robbins and Eti comes from deep, finds the hole, releases Mattielli, goes back in the middle. Beautiful execution. Rosie Kelly with the finish. Outstanding backline move from Matatu. I mean, look at this, beautifully well worked try through the back line there. Hit the back runner and Duplessis and a light ball to Shea out. Robbins ready, she slices straight through. Look at this inside ball here from Mata Ele, hits Rosie Kelly. Scores her first try for at the Apollo Project Stadium. How good did that look, Christina Sue? Yeah, it was the work break for me from Shay robbins Retty coming from that right wing and injecting herself in the line with great timing. Scrum. Yeah, just outside the 10 metre line, Matatu, Brooker, takes it to the line, a big ball over the top for Mattielli again and now releases McGovern. She has Duplessis in support, Brooker is there and she should have the pace to get there. It's another breakout try from Matatu. Finished in the corner by Grace Brooker. Get off the scrum. Shift the ball. It's a backdoor play once again, but she goes right over the top to Mataele. Inside ball. Plenty of support play on the inside again. Duplessis hits Brooker. The midfield partner. No one's catching her. Matatu go in front. It was Brooker who started it, and it was Brooker who finished it. Just her program with the ball in hand. You don't know if she's going to run it, but she had that pass timing to precision. And look at her stays in support. They had about four or five numbers to the Hurricanes too. A very well-deserved try there for Matatu. Wait, wait. And a good take from Emma Dermody. And now Matatu will try and drive towards the line. They're really well organised. It's in the hands of the hooker. Georgia Ponsonby over the line. This is where, where they really go to work here in their set place. And it's Captain Bremner who really leads the charge in this. She tells them, hold, hold, before bringing her down. They get the troops in, and they start to just plod forward. Ponsonby sitting in the back there. Ready to go over that line. Good try from Matatu. Set for another pick and go. This time off party at Ferretti. Ball spilled clear though. Ripped away. And now Joseph and Duplessis. Matatu could break out here. Duplessis round the corner. It's a beautiful ball for Rosie Kelly. She's got support back in field. Joseph holds on. Huge contact. We're going to blow up here. Time off. Straight head clash. So they're going to just double check as well. To the... Looks like it's a shoulder that makes her initial contact there. Okay, so 13, high speed, upright tackle, direct contact with the head. So it's going to be a red card. I know she's already, she's already off, but you need to take her replacement off. Well, it's a straight red so whoever's card. Whoever's going to replace her needs to go off the field, team. There's okay. Matatu, look for a fourth try in this first half. It's good ball again, Dermody. In the middle of that line out, Ponsonby finds her. Ponsonby organised, and it's under that right wing of Georgia Ponsonby as well. The Black Ferns hooker Advantage. heading directly towards the line and directly over the line. Is the ball down in there? Yes, it is. Georgia Ponsonby gets a second. Nice and tidy up here in the line out once again. They go up, they get set, and the Hurricanes just left clutching. They can't stop any momentum going forward. That's all class from Matatu. The home team, outstanding at the moment. They lead the Hurricanes by 22 points to nil at half time. Crouch! Fine! 
Hurricanes playing with the wind behind the back. You see the fans' flags in that background there, that it is still pretty breezy. And away comes Layla Say off the base of that scrum. And what a charge, what a run. Sprinting away, gassing away over the line. Solo effort, brilliance from one of the Hurricanes' best. Layla Say gets them going in the second half. And massive individual brilliance there. She takes off the back of the scrum, gets rid of Kendra Reynolds, outruns Bremner as well. No one can get a hand on it. Rosie Kelly tries to pull her in too late. Layla Say is over for the Hurricanes. Wow, she's an absolute powerhouse. Good hands down low. As Brooke is going to punch a hole straight through the middle here. Great support from Kendra Reynolds on the shoulder. Brooke has carved off plenty of metres. Now Kelly, another good injection from the back. Mattielli down the left, getting rid of defenders through. Three stumbles to the line. And Martha Mattielli with a superb finish. Another Mata 2 breakout. And how good is this from the set piece? They do well to bring the ball down. And it's Grace Brooker here, straight through the defensive line. She looks for her support, finds it in Kendra Reynolds. She goes to ground, but look at how quick they recycle the ball here. They get it out to the fringe. And look at Martha Mataele. It's one defender there, two, and the third one. Oh, she stumbles over that line. Great individual try for Martha Mataele. Black friends across both sides are just stepping up when they need to. Martha Mataele, the power, the pace, the precision. Brooker, flat for Bayfield. Great tackle from Eleanor Plumking. McGovern there, Duplessis once more, popping up on the other side of the field. He's falling. Heaney. Brooker just from a standing start, not a lot of options, so has to go into the defensive line. Palu has started it with that great run, and here she goes again, always gets past the first defender, Una Palu. Numbers here for Matatu Ponsabi's great in the loose and spins a lovely ball for Jenkins. Just cutting away on the angle run and Matatu score again in quick succession. Lucy Jenkins this time. She gets a great break through the middle of the field here. So hard to bring down as she. Once again, it's just the speed of play that they choose to play at here. It's Ponsabi out wide. Throws the long ball to Jenkins and cuts okay. back on the inside, beats three defenders and gets furthers the lead for Matatu. It's a balance for me. The boards are doing their job. They're direct, they're getting go forward. The backs, but don't Ponsonby look like a back like that with their run, but a footwork and the long ball. And then they're just finishing well. They're holding their width, they're playing with pace. Parise, nice carry. Good charge, another period of phases being built here from the Hurricanes power. Balfour. Larcher, stay up. Trick and go again. Parisi almost to the line. Strong charge no, from the tight head prop. Get out. Trick and go once more. No way through there for Say. They've done some hard yards, these forwards at Akato. She's stopped. For higher. Trying to find a big blind dart herself. Oh. Nice little hands. Great pass from Sturmy to Tangawai. And the Hurricanes get a second try, a much needed one. Leilani Peresi is putting in a massive shift Sorry? with double efforts through this phase of play. But look at Ritana Hall higher here. She goes back to short I, side. Quick there, hands just, after Monica Tangawai. Side, so second try for the Hurricanes. There's lovely hands as well from Rangimari and Sturmy. They showed some great patience, did the Hurricanes pull up. Set! It's there for Poor Haya. Oh, great hands on a dipping ball. Thung away. Nicely tipped on from Rakato to Sturmy and then intercepted by Bremner. Had a smile on her face as it landed in it. Kelly, now she goes with a stab kick through for Balamo to chase. Or higher again back there, lost control and Jenkins will swoop on it. Lucy Jenkins gets a second. See here, Bremner comes up with the intercept, she's quite surprised herself. 
They recycle ball quickly, and it's Rosie Kelly that stabs a little kick through. Eddie Tunner there to tidy it up, but as she hits the ground there, fortunately, ball falls out. Jenkins gets her second for the night. Spoke about swooping on it, Ricky. It's one out, but it's the whole nothing too. It's like a big blue sea or wave of players after players, just ultimate pressure on hurricanes that are going backwards, and certain individuals are trying to stand up for hurricanes, but they need the full 15 on the paddock. Sturmy, Olsen Baker lining up to go again. Again, can't advance. Pass Lolo here. 14 phases. No hands, look! Still want one more try, and now they'll get a chance to have a crack at it! McGovern almost there instead. Rangi Māori Estermi flying to the line, weaving round one, and the Hurricanes do get their final try. Classy finish from Rangi Māori Estermi. She's been good today, young Rangi Māori Estermi. She gets a first start in the number 12 jersey in replace of Monica Tangawai. They then join each other in the midfield. It might be a consolation prize for the Hurricanes as they suffer their first defeat to Matatu in this, this O-Picky competition. But look at the skill here from Sturmy to get around those defenders. Here's the last try for the Hurricanes. Well, they battled hard at the end to the Hurricanes. Bella Waterman, final act, won't convert. And it is Matatu, the defending champions, finally get on the board. Their first win of the season. Comprehensive in the end, 37 points to 17. Matatu over the Hurricanes power.